Oh, hey, how's it going? So nice of you to come visit me at my hotel room. That's right. You're probably wondering, Mitch, what do you mean hotel room? This, this looks like a home. This is like an old Spanish home, probably Coral Gables. And see, that's where you're right, but you're also wrong. Because this is no ordinary home, okay? This is something you have never seen in an old Spanish home in Coral Gables. That's right, what you're looking at back here, this is Hotel Aguila. Let's go. to know where we are and if you look around you we are in Gables Granada that is the Granada section the Granada neighborhood of Coral Gables it is in the northern part of the city like most of the city it's characterized by its tree-lined roads but it also has a unique feature which is its quaint and cozy charming old Spanish homes on tiny little lots that just bring the character just that, that feel that you're in sort of like the fairy tale part of Coral Gables. That's where we find Hotel Aguila. So as you can see, you've officially walked into the most unique old Spanish home in Coral Gables. Forget about anything that you've seen out there. This is the W meets the standard, meets the Emar hotels in Dubai, all together inside of this old Spanish shell. Take a look at this. So what you're inside of right now is a four bedroom, three bathroom, 1600 square foot old Spanish home that ain't got nothing old about it. As you can tell, everything in this home has been meticulously updated, perfected. I mean, we're talking the best best of Scandinavian modern interior design meets elements of nature, clean, simple lines, everything that you would ever want, pretty much in like a penthouse or a condo or whatever, in this beautiful home. So obviously, you know, with 1600 square feet, you're wondering, well, how many living areas could you actually put inside this home? And that's the beauty of it, because as soon as you walk in over here to the left, you have this nice little seating area, super, super comfortable couch. Again, very clean, mid-century modern, Scandinavian-inspired furniture, these beautiful fixtures up above us, of course, high ceilings throughout the entire home. And I mean, just look how nice it is. It is so awesome. It's almost like, like a sunroom, right? Okay, so you got that sort of blend of nature, right? Obviously it's enclosed, so you're not gonna be sweating your ass off when you're in this room. So you have that nice little sunroom feel and it's a perfect place to maybe do a little bit of work, have yourself some breakfast, whatever you like. Awesome little seating area over here as soon as you walk into the home. So further along into this living room space, you have, of course, your 3D fireplace because why would you really need a real fireplace? It gets so smoky and all that stuff. And that's one of the things about this house. It is just the ultimate smart home. So not only does it look modern, but it is modern. I gotta tell you, I love this fireplace seating area. So cozy, so comfortable. Just imagine yourself here, sitting down, relaxing. You know, you know Miami is like super, super cold, right? I mean, we get down to like 60 degrees in the winter time. So you really need a fireplace, okay? Because you know, when it's 60 degrees outside, how are you gonna live? 3D, beautiful, and warm. So one of my favorite features of this home is what I have in my hands right here. Now you might think, ooh, these are just remotes. That's, that's not what it is. There's only two buttons. It says A and B, you know what they do? they give you some privacy. So you see these impact windows over here? Nice and impacty, super important here in Florida. They give you some privacy. So obviously everyone's different. Maybe you're like me. You wanna walk around butt ass naked inside your house. Well, you can't do that if it's like this, right? But as soon as I hit that, I can be butt ass naked. I can just be out here, robe open, robe closed. Robe open, 
bro, I'm close. And nobody would ever know because you got that privacy glass and this feature right here, you just don't find it in homes of this price point. Here we are back in that sunroom again. And imagine you're having breakfast. You don't want anybody to look at you, but the light's really good and we're frosted. I don't eat breakfast naked, by the way, if you were wondering, I don't do that. So moving on to the kitchen, we have, of course, something bright, elegant, and modern. We have the quartz countertop over here with the rainfall edge, like an island for a perfect seating area. We have brand new Fisher and Paykel appliances, state of the art, top of the line, large farmhouse sink and cabinets galore. I mean, so you're probably thinking these cabinets probably don't have a lot of storage. That's where you're wrong because there is so much space over here. But you have all that space tucked away so it's not dirty, it's not busy. You know what I mean? Again, we're going with that sort of condo feel, that penthouse feel where everything is clean and modern. We have no time to be mucking about with a bunch of stuff strewn everywhere, absolutely not. I want you to picture yourself in this kitchen, cooking, entertaining your friends with this gorgeous afternoon light, sublime. And if you don't like cooking, just imagine your Uber Eats that just dropped over here and you're just opening that bag, not just now. You know what, picture, picture yourself cooking. That's the whole point of this gorgeous kitchen, okay? Learn how to cook, buy a cookbook. Let's go. Are you ready for the master bedroom suite? I don't think you are. But let's come check it out. Check this out. Yes, that is right. Again, you are in a luxury hotel. You got the back lit headboard. You got the high ceilings, the teak wood fan. So these are the kind of finishes you see in like the most ultra luxe hotels. This is the sexiest, sexiest master bedroom shower that I've been into. Again, more of that smart technology throughout. I'm not gonna turn it on because that'd be kind of weird and I really like this suit. I just got it tailored. I'm in a glass case of awesomeness in the middle of this amazing master bedroom. If you guys saw my angle, you'd probably be freaked out because there's like a light and a cameraman and you feel like you're kind of enclosed in a, in a cage, but you get the point. It's really, really cool. Of course, everyone wants privacy when they're doing their business. So you got a separate room over here for that. So obviously keeping up with that theme of like a sleek, modern room and approach, you have this built-in cabinetry over here. This is your closet. Gorgeous modern features over here. Your backlit cabinetry. And you know, the seller thought to himself, he's like, you know what's super old school? Having to iron your clothing. So in here, he installed a steamer for your clothing because if you're buying a $2 million house, why are you gonna iron your own clothing? That's so old school. And nothing in this home is old school. And neither should you. So steam your clothes, okay? Your dresses, trust me, save a lot, of, a lot, a lot of time. And time is money to make more money so you can live comfortably in this house. Okay, so walking down this hallway over here, there are two guest bedrooms. So we're gonna come over here to the first one on the right. This is like one of the most gorgeously lit rooms in the home. Look at all this tons and tons of gorgeous natural lighting. So gorgeous in here. So this is a very comfortable and quiet room. And of course, everything here in theme with the home is techie. So if you wanna sort of set the mood, close the curtains, have yourself a nice little siesta that you deserve, you can go ahead and do that too. Cause trust me, this room, yeah, this room is nice. Ugh, okay, I can't, I can't do that too much. We gotta finish this tour, so let's go to the other room. Jesus, so comfy in here. Let's go. So you've probably never seen a spa for a bathroom in an old Spanish home in Coral Gables, right? Well, look, look at this, I mean, come on, really. LED lighting, okay, this beautiful sort of dark finish over here, high ceilings. Oh, and of course, 
the surround sound system, which by the way, you have throughout the entire home up above you. So like, if you wanna blast some music in the shower, you can do that too. Just, I'm telling you, this is a hotel. This is why it is nicknamed Hotel Aguila. Look at this, seamless, beautiful. Oh, and these lights, they change colors. Let me show you. Okay, so you can, you can actually change the lights here. Beautiful LED. Look at that. Whatever your mood is, you can just set the tone. I mean, honestly, it is just the coolest, coolest, coolest thing ever. So bedroom number three is currently being used as an office by the seller because, I mean, if you look at this space right here, it could be a bedroom, but he has it set up as a amazing workspace and it leads you to what sort of makes this home the ultimate bachelor pad. Past this door is like just the thing that puts this home over the top. Just like the coolest thing ever. And that's a preview right there. So check this out. Completely remodeled, redone deck space over here. The ultimate entertainer's patio slash deck slash backyard. Again, in an old Spanish home here in Coral Gables, you did not expect this. I know for a fact you did not expect this. Tons of room over here. You got a built-in grill and kitchen setup with your giant flat screen TV. Oh, and you got something super important. As you know, it gets super, super sunny, as you can tell here in Florida, super hot. So, of course, what's one way to beat it when you're tired of getting beat up by the sun? You gotta take matters into your own hands, okay? And what does that mean? That means a retractable awning that stretches over 10 feet to nearly cover your entire seating area. It's like, oh! Divine intervention. Yes, come to me, Ani. You are the chosen one. Because again, sometimes you're just like done with tanning, right? Sometimes like it's time to like sit back and enjoy and not get blasted by that sun. And that's why you have this right here. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, there's, there's like a jacuzzi in this patio, right? Like how cool is that? The jacuzzi out here. But again, it's a testament to what the seller thought was important in this home. And it's like, you know what? Screw the pool. Let's get an LED jacuzzi. But yeah, you didn't think you needed a jacuzzi, but it's here and it's amazing and you want it. Don't lie to yourself. You want it. So every good Coral Gables home needs, absolutely needs a casita. Basically an additional detached, in this case, semi-detached area for, you know, an in-law quarter, you know, so you can house some guests without them actually being in the main part of the home. And that is this right here. But it's not just any casita, it is the casita. Of course, you're not gonna have a decked out house and have some rinky dink little casita. No, 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 no. This one is different. Check it out. Okay, so not only is this your fourth bedroom and your third bathroom, it's also your second kitchen. That's right. You have an entire studio apartment as your casita. And as you can see, it is completely redone. Plenty of room for your bed, TV, everything you need. You got your bathroom set up. Again, updated, beautiful rainfall shower head, which every bathroom in this home has a rainfall shower head, okay? And of course, you got your full kitchen, your two burners, your fridge set up, the cabinetry, some more of that beautiful quartz countertops. This is an amazing studio. And this is something where your guests are definitely not gonna get mad if they're staying here. Actually, they might not ever leave, so you might not want to show them this room now that I think about it, because you're never gonna leave. You know, they say that being a real estate agent is like super easy work, but honestly, I'm pooped. 
And thank God I get to unwind in this amazing home because it's got the ultimate, ultimate bachelor pad hotel vibe. As you can see right here, I'm just hanging out in this jacuzzi and you can too. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 1,600 square feet in gorgeous Gables, Granada, $2 million. That is 1248 Aguila. And I don't mean to be rude, but you guys gotta go. Cause I need to chill and unwind and watch a little TV, okay? So I'll catch you guys on the next one.